Hey guys, it's Artsy and today I'm gonna to be teaching you a trick called the behind the back aerial. It's where when you're freestyling, you've probably seen me do it in some freestyling videos, and you want to go behind and then continue with your opposite hand and somehow do a transfer over to your right again. So before trying this trick, I would suggest learning this with a trainer. I'm using the Wave from my website that I made, but um, the reason is, is because when you catch it with your other hand, you're most likely going to catch it on the blade, you're going to catch it in some weird position where the blade hits your hand, so I definitely suggest um, tr trying this with a trainer first. This trick is the most unpredictable trick that I know and I catch it differently every time. And I have to work with the catch that I get, whether that's doing a Zen rollover afterward, doing some trick that I, hopefully a trick I know with my left hand, you know. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of a short video. It's gonna be giving you advice on how to do this aerial because obviously you can attempt it and try it yourself and fail a bunch and get it eventually, right? That's what I did. But, so here's some advice I learned while doing this trick. Okay, so to get into it, you have to be in this position right here. So it's where I, I usually like to hold the safe handle and I'm going to be throwing the knife backwards. So I'm going to be throwing it, see, I'm going to be throwing it this way behind my back, okay? So I'm going to get into this position through some kind of trick, right? So I'll do a fan into an eight ball, into a backhand fan, right? Another rollover and then once I do another rollover, I am now in this position to throw it behind my back. Okay, so when I get to this position, right, what I'm doing is I'm holding the knife like this with my, my thumb right here on the top of the safe handle and I'm holding my index finger on the bottom and I'm throwing it pretty gently, not out of control and you'll, you'll most likely get it if you practice this a bunch, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw this in the air, right? And I'm not gonna catch it this time because I'm demonstrating. So you're gonna throw it in the air and you're gonna do it above the height, like around the height of your head. So see? So I'm throwing it and I don't wanna, now what I don't wanna do is I don't wanna throw it right here, right? You don't wanna throw it right here because it's hard to catch then. Then you're reaching your whole hand around. You don't wanna reach your whole hand around to catch this. You want it to be perfectly so it's arcing in the air, and it looks cooler on camera when it's arcing in the air, and you're catching it right here with your other hand. When I'm throwing it, I usually throw it from my right hand to my left hand, and in doing that, I know that I have a left-handed trick ready so it can continue the flow of the sequence. So don't do this if you, are, you don't know any left-handed tricks. And I'm talking to people that are right-handed. Obviously, it's opposite for you if you're left-handed you need to know some right-handed tricks. So the one left-handed trick that I know I can perform after doing this is the Zen rollover and the fan, right? So I could do a Zen rollover and fan, and then I to switch it over, I do a two-handed transfer. So I'll just usually throw the knife, whether it's a safe handle or bite handle, I'll just make sure the blade doesn't touch me if I accidentally land on the bite handle side, and I'll throw the knife and I'll do like a couple turns like this and get it back to my right hand. And I'm telling you the easiest way possible that I can think of to do this. So again, I would usually go from my right to my left. So in order to do it the other way around, from your right, left to your right, you would have to start the sequence probably with your right hand and then transfer it over to your left hand. And then you'd have to get it all ready with your left hand and throw it behind the back to your right hand, which is harder because your left hand, if, you, if you're right-handed, right, your left hand doesn't have as much practice throwing this perfectly over. Obviously, you can get it down, but that's why I like to do it with my right because my right has the ability to throw it at the perfect height and the perfect strength to get it to the other hand, okay? So I'm gonna teach you this mainly with my right hand, okay? 
Okay, so now I'm gonna do it for real. And so just watch my technique, okay? So I'm throwing it and I'm catching it. And that was a little bit behind my back. It didn't go in a perfect arc, so let me do it again. Okay, so I throw it and I caught it right here, see? And then I do the Zen rollover, maybe to another Zen rollover, and then try to do the fan, and then I'm gonna two hand transfer it over to this hand. So that's how I always do this trick. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below any questions you have, and I can make sure to answer them. Or if you DM me on Instagram, my Instagram's right here. I'm more likely to answer them, and I do that within about a week's to two weeks span.